We're at the Case to Lifeboat today and I'm with Vicky Ford, one of our MEP candidates, who's been coming to Yarmouth and working with us and helping us over the last year or so. Um, and we just had a tour around the Case to Lifeboat. So Vicky, what did you think of what you've, uh, what you've seen today? I'm just so impressed. The lifeboat is the only independent lifeboat in the country and raises, was it £140,000 yeah, every year yeah. roughly? Just to keep it going, absolutely state-of-the-art lifeboat and really committed volunteers from the local community who go out to save lives and don't receive a single penny for doing so. No, I'm incredibly impressed by the people of yeah. Caster and all the, all, the, all the local people who fund it. Absolutely, and they raise that money every year. They've just got a new lifeboat a couple of years ago that they spent over a million pounds on with some very generous donations and hard work. And that's the main thing with things like this, being independent, and it's the only independent, as we say, lifeboat in the country, is the work the volunteers here put in. Paul Goddard as chairman and the team around him who work so hard to get not just the money raised, but more importantly, to go on the 50 odd calls a year that they have to make in the seas and the waters around Caister and Great Yarmouth. And they've been asking us, or we've been asking them, what we could do to help them. And the first thing they want us to do is help them publicise what good deeds they do. And secondly, um, look at, for example, they want to turn this, which is their old shed, into a heritage site. So we'll look at that with them. Absolutely. So if you're wondering what you can do to help, go online, find the Case to Life boat, and pledge some money to help them out. They do a great job, they save lives, and they need our help. Thanks.